in the beginning of the Krishna consciousness movement, the Gurukul program started when? From very early in the movement or in 1971? Oh, it started fairly early. Um, let me think, when did it start? Uh, it started in New York, actually, about 1969. Wow, that early, huh? Yeah, they were there, and of course, Bhavananda was there. They used to take kids, if they wanted to punish them, and put them out on an icy balcony tied to the balcony and freeze them at night. Oh my God, that's, that's yeah. just insanity. Yeah. And Bhavananda, being Bhavananda, was really into that sort of thing. Wow. Oh, by the way, do you want a nice little anecdote about Bhavananda that might amuse you? Sure, let's, let's do it. I, he and I traveled from London to Nairobi, Nairobi to Mombasa, where we did a big festival for 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. And we shared the same room. Don't get any ideas. I didn't know if you were okay. But anyhow, so the, it, 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 he was an interesting person. You know, he's very, he has a very, very tuned, very artistic nature. You could, and he's very good at understanding certain things. Perverting them is something I did not understand of him at that time. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, what actually I did, because he came from being the temple president of New York to London to try to steal the Mayapur project from under my nose in London. Anyhow, we were there, and he told me, you can see, like he's sitting in his dhoti, he has a big scar on the left-hand side of his abdomen. And I asked him, well, how did you get that scar? He said, oh, when I was really little, when I was born, it turns out, yeah, he lost a kidney too, I think. I, it turns out that I had a baby twin brother. Mm -hmm. And I ate him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. He said that? The doctor said it. Well, the doctor he, said he, what? Yeah, because they cut his body open. There was his baby brother inside his kidney. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not joking. Wow. He told you that, huh? Yeah. So if you think he's a child molester, yes. If you think he's a homosexual, yes. Think he's a pedophile, yes. Do you think he's an embezzler, yes. But now you can add he's a cannibal. <laughs> Not only a cannibal, he cannibalized his own brother. Wow. And you should have seen the expression on his face when he told me. I don't think anyone knows about what you just said right now. They do now. <laughs> can, can you repeat that one more time, the story? What? You didn't hear me the first time? Yeah, but I, I, I want to make sure I got it right because it's very interesting. Okay, so what happened is that Bhavananda had a scar. We were in Mombasa, which is a nice place, beautiful place. Um, and the governor of California and his girlfriend used to hang out there on the beach, um, Brown. And I forget the, the name of the girlfriend, but she was, she was a famous singer, famous pop singer. So anyhow, the, um, what happened is that Bhavananda, I noticed he had a big scar on his abdomen, on his left side of his body. And I asked, how did you get that scar? And he told me that when he was born, he was born with a strange situation going on inside his body. So the surgeons cut him open and they found the ember, the smaller, size of his brother in his kidney. So I believe he lost the kidney in the process. The baby brother was in his kidney and apparently he had swallowed his twin brother in the womb. I've never heard of anything like that before. 
But why would he tell me that if it wasn't true? Wow, interesting story. <laughs> In fact, why would he tell me if it was true? <laughs> so Bhavananda is a Catholic Lithuanian. Mm. I don't know if they're regular Catholics or Eastern Catholics, but he's a Lithuanian. And the Nazis chose the Lithuanians to be in charge of the concert death camps. Mm. The Lithuanians liked putting Jews into and people, anybody, not just Jews, gypsies, Catholic nuns and whatnot. They like putting them in the crematoriums. Mm. So the Lithuanians, in Lithuania, they're called Litvaks. Litvak means Lithuanian. You put them in the crematorium. So when he had that look on his face, it was, I tell you, I wish I had a movie of his saying how he ate his brother. It was a weird look. Now, let's take it one step further. How could he, destined to become a devotee of Krishna, a disciple of Prabhupada, how could he eat his brother if he didn't know his brother from a previous lifetime? Isn't that even creepier? Yeah, that's even more creepier, right? If you, if you put it together, why is he doing, and who is he doing it to, and, you know, why? For something to do with previous life, you know? Oh, oh obviously. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing to do with his present life. Who knows? Wow. Maybe it's... I would imagine that the twin, it might have been, you know, what you call fraternal twin. I don't know if it was fraternal, but it wasn't Siamese twins for sure. It was um, identical twin, could have been. But at some point, it could be that the other embryo died or became afflicted and it became shriveled up so that he was small enough so he'd fit in his mouth. And then he swallowed him. Well, sounds like something from the Bhagavatam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or, or what that guy is. Stephen King, the movie maker. Yeah. So anyhow, that's our dear Bhavananda for you. <laughs> yeah. So what's it's next? Like, Dennis Priya Prabhu, go ahead. No, I was just going to uh -huh. say it's I, amazing that, the, amazing sorry, that this rascal demons yeah, so so let's this. keep going into the realm of tomorrow. No, Narayan, hold on a second. Yes. Janus Priya what? was talking. Oh, I didn't hear him. I'm sorry. It's amazing that this rascal demon is still sitting in Vyasa's sons and being worshipped. Well, I don't think that Bhavananda is a guru anymore, is he? But he's sitting on a Vyasa son giving classes. He sits on a Vyasa son? Yes. But he doesn't wear saffron. Who cares what he wears? He can yeah. wear it. He can wear nothing and people will still worship him. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's in a homosexual relationship with Ambarish. Mm -hmm. Even now? They're both there in Mayapur. Yeah, they're both in Mayapur, right. Hmm. Jai. Go ahead, uh, Janice Priya, do you want to complete what you wanted to say? We... No, no, I, I'm pretty done with that. I Like Nara Narayan said, it's like, why even waste our energy on these matters? You know, it's like, mm. yeah, it, it's very attractive to our mind because, you know, it's we lived it and we kind of like still processing. So it's kind of normal, but I think. He's 100% yeah. correct that we need to focus forward. Exactly. Uh, so I just went against my own instinct and I talked about the past and a person from the past. It was sort of like a little anecdote, but I can see in that same time, I could have been talking about the future of ISKCON. 
Mm. Not, not, the, not the cannibalism of this country. <laughs> <laughs> but I did want it on tape, by the way. 